Hi, this is Bobby Jones with On Call Capital. If you've been around apartment investing for any amount of time, you've probably heard of a PPM. But what is a PPM? Well, that is a private placement memorandum. And it is a document, or better known uh, as a PDF file, that outlines the terms of an apartment investment and the primary risk factors associated with making an investment. These are often very long, 40 pages or more, and they are filled with legal and investment jargon about the investment offering in question. So the PPM is often comprised of at least four sections. The first is the introduction or summary, which is a brief or sometimes not so brief summary of the offering. This may be broken up into several sections, which often includes background on the location and city that a property is located in. Uh, that background often highlights population and job statistics, as well as educational and entertainment opportunities. Uh, it will also highlight the actual uh, terms of an investment offering. So uh, how much a property is being purchased for, how much is being put down as a uh, collateral for the loan, and uh, also how much is, is intended for any kind of repairs or uh, upkeep for the, the uh, property. So uh, number two is your basic disclosures. So that includes general partner information, uh, you know, the, the people that are the operators of the building that you're investing in, an asset description, and risk factors associated with any investment. So number three is the legal agreement. And while this section may outline certain legalese, you will be required to go over and sign a separate operating agreement um, should you actually decide to invest. Um, you'll also be looking at subscription agreements as well, which is number four. So a subscription agreement is a document that is a promise by the general partners to sell a specific number of shares to a limited partner at a specified price, and also a promise by the limited partner to pay that price. So that is a document that you would also sign. As a potential investor, you often only get access to the investment summary, um, which is pretty much that, that first section, unless you actually intend to invest. Once you decide to invest, you'll receive the entire PPM as part of the full disclosures and required signatures uh, necessary to move forward. It's important to note that even if you receive a PPM, you're not necessarily bound to sign it. And even when you sign a PPM, you're still not necessarily obligated to invest. You likely still have room to back out. It's not until you actually wire the money to the operators that your investment becomes binding. So I hope this has helped clear up anything uh, that you had to ask about PPMs. Uh, obviously, this is a pretty short one. If you have further questions, you're welcome to reach out to me at my email address. Um, if you enjoy this video, I hope you'll stick around by clicking subscribe. Also, feel free to visit my website at www.oncallinvestments.com for more information about apartment investing. Uh, I hope to see you again soon.